I ran a poll recently on the channel where I asked how y'all would feel about non-Smash Carts related content. Thankfully, 100% of you thought it would be either cool, hip, or rad. And with full support from the community, my concerns were put to rest. Which now allows me to answer the question, what happens when Smash Kart players try to speedrun a game with no brakes? A few weeks back, my friend Shawnee Sean and I discovered a game called Oops No Brakes, where the goal of the game is to race through 19 different obstacle course levels. The controls are simple, point with your mouse and like an eager puppy, the car will follow. But there's just one minor little catch. You can't stop. On your first playthrough, you will quickly realize how difficult this challenge becomes due to this small caveat. But after your 100th plunge into the ocean, something clicks and you begin to gain some control over your overzealous car. You finally conquer that difficult level, you move on to the next world. Or maybe, just maybe, you finally collect that pesky little coin that may or may not have been taunting you for the past half an hour. I'm looking at you, 2-3. But with enough patience, you beat every level and collect every coin. 100% completion. Nice. But what if faster? Yo, Sean, you want to compete for the best times on each level? Bet. Yo, Sean, I bet I can beat the entire game faster than you. Cap. I've never sat down to speedrun a game, but I found a lot of joy in discovering the fastest routes, little time saves, and weird quirks of the game to push each level to its limit. But there's no reason we should have all the fun, so we've set up an official leaderboard on speedrun.com. Surprisingly, we've already had some competition from a couple of runners who happened to find the page, but there's still plenty of room for optimization in several categories, so stop by the site and see if you have what it takes to claim a world record for yourself. One more thing. I was fortunate enough to be able to reach out to the developer of the game, the Jaspel. He's currently working on a new roguelike game called Backpack Hero. I'll drop a link to his Twitter and the game's Discord server so you can follow him and the development of the game. I might feature the game on this channel in the future, so swing by again if you're interested in that.